silly. Um, a month away now, um, coming back into your first game back, the players ready to go? Yeah, all ready to go. You know, we just, we've had a couple of sessions now. Uh, been, we've had, yeah, really good sessions. Uh, all the players just want to get back, you know, four weeks off, it's not great, it's not ideal, you know, with the, in the season, but, you know, every, same for everybody, so, yeah, we just want to get back playing. How's the preparations been during this lockdown? Has it been, like, positive from the players? Yeah, really positive. I've been in contact with all of them all four weeks, a couple of times a week, you know, checking in, making sure they're all right, if they've got any problems, if they need me or need more, or need anybody in the from the club. Uh, yeah, but really good positive reports from all the players, you know. Like I say, it's, it's just getting back going now. Yeah, um, after this game, we've got another month off um, until our next game in the new year. Um, is it going to be more of the same over the Christmas period, just keeping up with them, making sure that... Yeah, hopefully we'll friends. get a couple more training sessions in as well. Well, we'll have some more training sessions in before, obviously, we, we stop for Christmas. But I think, again, it's just keeping in touch with everybody and making sure they're doing the fitness as well over Christmas. I know it's a tough time. You know, everybody likes good food over Christmas, but I'm sure they'll be dedicated and ready to go on 10th of January. Uh, and then looking forward to this game um, against Hull. Um, how are you feeling about this? Are you confident that we can take the sort of winning momentum we ended last time on into the next game? Yeah, I do. I think uh, the way we played away against Middlesbrough, the last game was fantastic as game management. You know, the, our style of play we play, fantastic. I can't fault the efforts of the girls. You know, it's like I said before, it's, they want to win. They want to. They want to play well. They want to play attractive football. You know, so I'm not going to take that away from them when they try to play that. They don't get told off for trying anything. These girls, you know, they need to express themselves. So I'm. I trust them massively. So that's that's where I am with that. You know, I've got every faith in this group. Mm. Uh, this game's a rainbow laces game. How do you, how important do you think it is for football to make sure that we stand up for equality, especially when it comes to LGBTQ? I've always stood up for it. I think you know, it's football's a game for everyone. And the more uh, coverage that we give it, you know, the rainbow laces and everything, I think it's fantastic. So, you know, it's got my back in 100%. Right, thank you very much, Thank you very much, cheers.